Johnny Talk Sports here. And when life gives you a second chance, you must do everything in your power to make the most of the second chance that you are given. Unfortunately, there are some points in life where you don't get a second chance. Luckily for the ESPN Tournament Challenge, you are given a second chance. So today is my second chance bracket video. Before I get to that, what if I told you that one of the eight Sweet 16 games could and probably will have a big impact on how the rest of this tournament will play out? And it may not be the game that you think it is. Now, I am going to, instead of starting on the left side, like I usually do for my bracket videos, I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And it's going to make sense why I'm saving this side for last. Arizona and Houston. Houston, I think, matches up to Arizona really well, like TCU did. And Houston, they are one of the more experienced teams left in this tournament. And I do think Arizona wins, but I won't be shocked if Houston pulls off the upset. Michigan and Villanova, I have Villanova's experience over Michigan. Michigan's run ends here. Michigan, they have been notorious for getting to at least the Sweet 16 in years past, and this year was no different. But I think Villanova ends their season here. So I have Arizona Villanova moving on to the Elite Eight. Kansas and Providence, and Providence has had a historic season for their program, but I think it ends here. I think Kansas moves on to the Elite Eight. Iowa State and Miami, now both of these teams, they have everything in a recipe to make a deep run. And I just think Miami's recipe is just a bit better than Iowa State's. So I have Miami moving on to the Elite Eight. And Arizona and Villanova. Arizona's run to the Final Four here and beyond is challenging. They got to get past Houston, a very experienced team, and now Villanova, an experienced team. And if they beat Houston, even if it's Michigan that's a play, a play against, a Michigan team that's peaking at the right time. So their road to the Final Four is challenging, but I do think Arizona will pull it off and get to the Final Four because there has been times in the past where Arizona, they've gotten so close to the Final Four, but they have, they haven't been able to get there. But I think this is the year. Kansas and Miami. I think Miami's run into it. I think Kansas advances to the Final Four. Purdue and St. Peter's. St. Peter's, a Cinderella team of this tournament. But I think it ends here. I think Purdue moves on to the Elite Eight. Now, North Carolina and UCLA. That is the game that I think could and probably will have a big impact on how the rest of this tournament's going to go. In fact, I would lean towards it on it will make a big impact on how the rest of this tournament plays out. Because Gonzaga, Arkansas, and Texas Tech and Duke, they both play on Thursday. And Gonzaga and Duke, they're both going to advance. It's pretty clear, in my opinion, those two are both going to advance. Now, North Carolina and UCLA. Now, what do we have here in this matchup? Well, we have two blue bloods. Two teams that had high expectations coming into the season. UCLA in particular, by just making the Final Four last year and everybody coming back from last year's Final Four roster, there was pressure on them this season to perform because they shown they, sh they had shown that they can make the Final Four but now they're expected to. They're a team that is Final Four caliber, a team that many, expect, many expected to make a deep run. For North Carolina, they had expectations as well. And what they will have in common is that both of these teams, they struggled in the early portion of the year, but then the later the season got, the better both these teams got. So whoever wins this matchup between North Carolina and UCLA, they are going to beat Purdue. Whether it's North Carolina, they're going to beat Purdue. Whether it's UCLA, they're going to beat Purdue in advance of the Final Four. But whoever wins this game between North Carolina and UCLA is going to cause a huge butterfly effect 
on the rest of this tournament because the NCAA, I think they have a hidden agenda here. I think that it's a hidden agenda that nobody's talking about. I have not seen anyone talk about it, but I will, and I'm not afraid to talk about it. But if North Carolina wins, then Duke will win. If UCLA wins, then Gonzaga is going to win. So UCLA wins, it'll be Gonzaga. And what is interesting about that potential matchup is it is a rematch of last year's Final Four. And what was one of the best Final Four games of all time? If it's North Carolina that wins, Duke wins. And we have Duke and North Carolina in the Final Four in Coach K's final year. How fitting that he takes on North Carolina in his swan song season at the Final Four. Because the NCAA really wants Gonzaga or Duke to win this championship. For Duke and Gonzaga, they have the best storylines out of everybody left in this tournament. For Duke, obviously Coach K's final season. For Gonzaga, a team that has gotten so close to winning a championship in years past, but they haven't been able to finish the deal. And Gonzaga, they really want to prove that they could win a national championship and silence the doubters about how they play in a weak conference. They never have the recipe to win the whole tournament because of their lack of competition during conference play, even though Gonzaga, they dominate non-conference play more often than not. And to establish themselves as a blue blood in college basketball, some people think that Gonzaga is a blue blood, others don't. Others that think that they don't, it's because they play in a weak conference or they're a mid-major, they haven't won a championship. Well, my opinion, you need to win a championship first before you can consider yourself a blue blood. So, you can even quote me on this. Whoever wins between North Carolina and UCLA, their fellow counterpart is going to win the very next day, and then they'll beat Purdue the day after that to take up a Final Four matchup. Because the only team that is stopping Gonzaga or Duke from winning this whole thing is Arizona. If Arizona gets knocked out before the championship game, then Gonzaga or Duke, they have an easy path to the championship. So Arizona is that only team that can stop the NCAA from getting their way. So I'll leave it at that. 